Hi everyone, I'm Kirk Dale Clark, the Artistic Director of Maine State Music Theater with a brief message about today's episode of MSM TV. Last week we canceled MSM TV in deference to the national conversation regarding Black Lives Matter. The stars of the show, Ife Butler and Kenny Ingram, along with our production team, made the decision to postpone to this week. This episode was actually filmed weeks ago, and you will see it today. But returning to our regularly scheduled programming does not mean that the conversation regarding Black Lives Matter is over. Quite the contrary. Black Lives Matter must become part of the new future that emerges out of this year that we call 2020. And we all, myself and Main State Music Theater, must continue to learn and do better. As I said, today's show stars Ife Butler and Kenny Ingram, both of whom I've been friends with for over 30 years and worked on many, many contracts at many different levels. Uh, you are in for a treat today, folks, I promise you that. The incomparable Dame Ife Butler and Mr. Kenny Ingram and MSM TV is up next. Enjoy. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of MSM TV. I'm Ben McNabo, Music Supervisor at Main State Music Theater. Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda Choate, and I am the Development Director at Main State Music Theater. So I noticed that you're wearing a shirt that I, I, I am very proud of my MSM t-shirt collection. I do not have that shirt. Oh, I know. It's a really pretty color. Um, funny you should ask, because today we finally got our brand new MSM t-shirts for 2020. I have yours right here. Hey. Uh, so it's a beautiful color and it's gonna be a special one, uh, maybe even a collector's item because it has the, the season that almost was. <laughs> uh, look how beautiful, Titanic, Mamma Mia, Sound of Music, and something rotten, but. I like uh, that color a lot. I do too. I think last year's color and this color were both really, the color that we usually wear up until this week. Is really Which was a sea foam right. and I, uh, I don't know what color this one This is. one's like electric. Electric blue. Yeah. It's very nice. But it's good for the summer. We're going to rock them. We're going to wear them. And we're going to still live on for Main State. But good observation. And I'll mail you yours. Great. Uh, so now we're super excited because we really have a treat for you today. We have two awesome, awesome guests. Uh, the first is really my dog. There's a guest. The first, <laughs> the first is Ife Butler, the incomparable Ife Butler. Uh, in 2012, Ife was inducted into the National Museum of Women in the Arts. Uh, she is a recipient of multiple national awards. You first saw her on the Main State Music Theater stage in 2016, starring in Ghost the Musical. Uh, and you most recently saw her last season in Multiple Things. Uh, she started with Sophisticated Ladies at the beginning of our season. She starred alongside Felicia P. Fields in their own concert, Letting the Good Times Roll, which was so much fun if you got to see it. And then she finished out her season directing our co-production with Portland Stage, Ain't Misbehaving. So uh, she's really special to us. I'm super excited she's here. And we also have with us today, uh, Kenny Ingram, who is just an unbelievably creative and talented choreographer and performer that was recently um, seen for us uh, choreographing or co-choreographing rather sophisticated ladies and then partnered with Ife on choreographing our co-production of Ain't Misbehaving. And Kenny has um, for a long time been part of the Broadway company of Lion King and most recently also choreographed Emoji Land off Broadway. So we're really excited to have both of them. They're really good friends and they have a, they have a pretty fun banter together. Well, as you can see, we are here. We were here with these guests that we were telling you we were so excited to be with. Eve <laughs> Butler, Kenny! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was, uh, I'm just so excited, you guys. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You guys, first, first things first, how are you doing? Where are you? How are you guys coping? I know we just talked a little bit about it, but uh, we'd all love to hear how, how everyone's doing. I'm doing 
doing great. I'm in Chicago. Um, I was in D.C. when this all started. They shut our show down, which makes sense. What and show were you doing? I was doing the Amen Corner by James Baldwin. Okay. At the Shakespeare Theater in Washington, D.C. And uh, so they shut us down. And I came back home to Chicago. And I'm trying to get rid of a piece of property I have in Rockford, Illinois, where Kurt is from, as I said earlier. And Mark Robin. And so I've been going back and forth there. It's kind of really been a great distraction because I go there like Sunday through Thursday and we work on the house because we're rehabbing the entire house ourselves to put it on the market, my husband and I. And then I come home on the weekends and then I go back. So it has been great because I've never had this much time. Yeah. <laughs> to devote to it so I can get rid of that house. Look. <laughs> it's going to be ready. It's going to be very ready. <laughs> That's really it. So I cannot complain. Of yeah. course I could, but what difference does that make? Yeah. I'm of the mind that we're all, it's the playing field is leveled. We're all here together. Let's do positive things mm -hmm. and, you know, let's lift one another up. We could go down the road a hundred times, but that ain't going to help me. So I'm doing great. My family's healthy. I'm healthy. God willing. And that's where I am. Awesome. Really glad to hear it. How about you, Kenny? I'm great. Everything's good. I actually got up out of the house today and ran which is really good. So my endorphins are up and my energy is up and I'm feeling great. You know, I just ran for like an hour today. So that was, that was, that's been really good. Um, I'm, I'm starting to work on a, um, where, where, where I was at, I was just finished Kinky Boots at the Fulton with Mark and with Mr. Ben over here. And uh, we got up to like, I don't know, the second week or second so. Week, I think, yeah. And then we had to shut it down. And then I came back to New York and <clears throat> had a show running off Broadway in Moji Land. And <laughs> I was in, <laughs> and I was in the midst of Which that. Which I was supposed to see the weekend we shut down. Absolutely. Go see it, yeah. Right. And I was in the midst of that and trying to kind of figure it out. And we only had one more week left and then they shut them down. But to be honest, at least they got a lot of their run yeah. in. A lot yeah. of shows didn't, yeah. like yeah. the Magnificent Six from Chicago Shakes, which was right. amazing. I, I saw it there. Um, so, you know, all is good. I've been productive. I've been throwing away a lot of stuff. I've been cooking a lot of stuff. I've been um, working on my, my own show, Shane Bore Darling. We're getting ready to record that. I'm trying to figure out that. So, it Kenny, Last summer was your, you, you were a first timer for us last summer. You came in uh, yes. as one of the co-choreographers for Us Fiscade Ladies and then worked on Ain't Misbehaving later in the summer. I'm curious what like stood out to you as something that was different about Maine or about Brunswick, about Maine State Music Theater in general, um, that kind well, of was a light for you. I just have to say the people there are so <laughs> nice. That's what stood out to me. The people there from the audience members just going up on a whole different thing. When Ife and I were both up there um, doing Ain't Misbehaving, she was directing, I was choreographing, and we went out on our own one day and it was brilliant because she's been there before. So she kind of showed me around and we went and I sat up, we sat apart to see The Wizard of Oz. We, we, we saw the Wizard of Oz, oh, right, right. and I'm sitting by these people, and I'm talking to them. They're like, "Oh, we saw sophisticated ladies," so we were like engaging and having conversations, and it was absolutely wonderful. Talking behind me, beside me, in front of me, and talking about the show and how wonderful the Wizard of Oz was. Also, um, yeah, I love it there. And they also took me on these back roads to get like crab and lobsters, <laughs> and I was like. Whoa, I mean, it, so I'm not in tune with that. I've never been on that side of the country. Yeah. So for me, it was brilliant. And I stayed at that, my favorite hotel there, the Brunswick. Brunswick Hotel and Tavern. Brunswick hotel yeah. and the food there. Oh my gosh. gosh. So yeah, I loved it there. I love the staff there. I love the staff there. Just everybody was just really cool. And I mean, Ife, audiences fell in love with you. In 2016, Ghost was the mm -hmm. first time we saw you as Oda May. Mm -hmm. um, and then you were back last year in Sophisticated Ladies. You had your sold out show, Letting the Good Times Roll, with Felicia P. Fields. Yes. And then you directed the amazing Amos Behaven that we had with uh, Portland Stage. So you're coming back and you always bring so much joy and the audiences love you. And I just would love to hear like, your thoughts on how your audience reaction and uh, the love that they have for you and what brings you back to Maine State all this time. Well, I think that the, the best part of Maine State, I really think are the people. Um, it's a community because you can work at a lot of great theaters, but you don't always have a great time where you are 
the, the yeah. work might be good, but you don't always go to theaters and neighborhoods that make you feel are welcoming, mm -hmm. you know? I like that about Mainers. I like that Mainers mean what they say and they say what they mean. Yep. And even if you might not agree or you can sense they don't agree with you, you know that instantly. <laughs> and so you can make decisions, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I, but that's good though. I, I, did, I can deal with that. Honestly. I can deal with you letting me know where we are in our relationship. Honest. And oh. that honesty is great to me. So I like that about Mainers, you know? Because if they like you as a person, you're in. Yeah, and it's I think so that true. I think that that's the thing that I connected with the audiences on, and I think that surprised them. That surprised me my very first time there because not knowing what to you know to look for. And the thing that I found is their honesty and that they were down to earth. And I'm that way, and so I connected, and I connected with so many people. You know, just the hospitality. Yeah. Um, that people are very warm and welcoming, and they don't stand on like pretense and I like that yeah. um, and so that makes your experience kind of cool because people will talk to you in Maine you know going to know that you got a flavor of the you know your show down yeah. the street that kind of stuff that Americana is supposed to be and you yeah. know about that's what Brunswick does for me when I go so much so that I brought my husband out last summer and I said, yeah. come on, you need to spend 10 days here with me. He was like, oh my God, I've never been to Maine. Is that kind of weird? I said, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be surprised. He was able to fish and go lobster. Oh, we had a great time. He was here 10 days and it's a place that he wants to return to. As a, um, as a Mainer, and I know Amanda, Amanda's also a Mainer, obviously. No. It makes me so proud to hear you say that because people... That is everyone's experience when they come to Maine. And I, last week I was at Whole, I'm, I'm in Lancaster, Pennsylvania right now. And last week I was at Whole Foods walking out to my car and some random woman in the parking lot, my car has Maine plates on it. She stopped me, total stranger. She's like, I just need to tell you, I adore Maine and I adore the people in Maine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, just, I love it. I love like, huh? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so that's, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's true. And Portland. I found Portland delightful mm. as well. Oh, Portland Working was there, nice. Because that was a different experience yeah. for me. And I'd never had the city. It's a nice little you know? city. Oh, I love the food. Oh, oh yeah. the food. So that's really? actually a good segue to, um, to Ain't Misbehaving. So you guys, I, I actually don't know the answer to this first question. Had, was that the first time that you guys have worked together artistically in a while? <laughs> in a while, yes. But yeah. Yes. I mean, I knew you. So yeah, what yeah. was that? I guess what's it like working together from like back when you were live where you were both working together on Chicago? Like a bike. What, what's it's the like best a, part about it? It's like a bike, you know. You go, come on, let's do this. Yeah, and, it's easy. And we can we can we can agree to disagree and be okay. Oh and come yeah. Come back and come back and say you were right. Okay. Right, but isn't it thirty plus? I don't even know. Yeah. We yeah. met in 1986. I was yeah. the scarecrow in The Wiz. Oh Mark God. Robin was in that production at the Marriott <laughs> Lincoln Shire As the winged Theater. monkey. At the winged monkey. He was brilliant. He was really funny. And Faye was Eveline. And we and met. That was, and and Ada Pearl. <laughs> and she was Pearl. both parts. And <laughs> what was that? Was that in 86? 86. 86. Right. Wow. So we had a long relationship, often on stage. But um, whenever we're doing, you know, the directing court, it's very, because we're friends. Yeah. But we're smart enough to know that when we're colleagues, we put a different hat on and we don't let the friendship get in the middle of nope. it. And we can agree to disagree. And I don't always agree with what he says. He doesn't always agree with what I'm saying. Sometimes he makes a choice. I say nothing about it and vice versa. And how many fine. how many times have you guys artistically worked together? Do you five know? or six? Is five or six? Yeah, it's been about five or six. Wow. You're not and, counting the in-betweens, Kenny. It's okay. Right, <laughs> right. Getting... And we did, and, I mean, we did the Rialto Theater in Peoria. We did Michigan Ensemble Theater back in the day at the Michigan Ensemble Theater. We've got, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so I know. So, um, that's going to be Ben and I in 35 years. Yeah. Yes. Ben and I are gonna... Yeah. So I know <laughs> just from working with Kenny, really the one time just now on Kinky Boots, that it seems like you guys have that same, which we kind of got to a me and Mark, like where you don't really talk so much in rehearsal. You you just are doing it and yeah. following each other. And, and you, mm -hmm. you're, I know you're both that type of person where mm -hmm. it's just, it just flows. Yes. Yeah. But also, but also we do a lot of pre pro. Yeah. yeah. We prep. all about pre-production work. Yeah. We, it's just not, we go in and 
you know, right. she's right. really about pre-production. I mean, even down to the colors of the walls of the set, you know, down to, I mean, everything, what the, what the actors are wearing and what, you, what do we feel movement wise here? We, we really collaborate extremely well together. Yeah. You know, and that's what's that's what's fun. And then we go home after rehearsal, and if we were like, eh, well, let's do this now, let's change that to this because this what it, that's. I mean, that's what it is, and it's friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you can even see it on screen. You can feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> she's she's always been like my you know my sister. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 You know, she's like you know taking me under her wing and said, okay, kid, this is how you do it, and that's real talk. I mean, you know, because even. When I was in the chorus and ready to become a choreographer, she gave me the tools to go, all right, if you want to be a choreographer, you got to do this. Mm. Stop doing chorus. Right. <laughs> and he was like, I won't, I said, Faith, stop doing chorus. Yeah. So, I mean, so it goes, it's, it's deep, <laughs> you know, and it's to this deep. day, she's my counselor. Mm -hmm. Still to this day. Absolutely. Oh, that's sweet. Really that special. Really He's sweet. He's well, sweet. now that we talked about how, how close friends you guys are, we're going to pit you against each other in a game. Okay. Game time. <laughs> okay. Uh, this game uh, is I found some Victorian theater slang. Oh, my God. That's how I, I thought it'd be fun to do some definition, multiple choice, guess the right definition. Okay. There's a okay. Victorian theater slang. So, Amanda, why don't you start? She'll do um, Kenny's. Okay. Kenny, ready? All right. Number one, the mm -hmm. slang is back row hopper. It is either A, someone who sneaks into a performance, B, a child who can't sit still during the show, C, an audience member who visits bars frequented by actors and flatters them into buying him or her a drink, or D, a choreographer. C, C, C. Yes! Come on! I did. I was so worried I gave it away because I did this when I said it and I was like, shoot. No, I, did you know that? <laughs> no, I just felt it. Come on, back and yeah. bar. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> this is fun. I won't get none of these. For Ife, here's, here's your first one, Ife. Uh, the word is button buster. Is it A, a seamstress? B, a terrible comedian? C, someone who mugs for the audience? Or D, a tight-fitting costume. I say C. It is B, a terrible comedian. Oh, I, was a I am buster. keeping score. <laughs> so you don't have to say it like this, a button buster. <laughs> it's Victorian. Next one, Kenny, is a mumble mumper. I'm going to say that one more time. A mumble mumper. <laughs> These are real. A mumble mumper. Yes, that took me a minute. It is either an old performer whose lines cannot be easily heard or understood, huh. a reviewer, a long line that you always stumble over, or a cranky director. Ooh, what was the word again? A mumble mumper. I'm gonna go with A. Yes! Oh, yes! oh my God. <laughs> But, but wait, and what was it about not saying your, li your lines loud enough? An old performer whose lines cannot be easily heard or understood. Yeah, I love that. I love that. You can yeah. use it as a verb to stop mumble mumbling. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What did he say? Oh. He's mumble mumbling. Challenge That's hilarious. I'm using that at the next staff meeting. So. <laughs> um, all right, Ife. Yeah. Scorpions. A, babies whose constant noise can ruin a performance. B, producers. C, actors who book all the roles. Or D, stage door security. Ooh, wow, it's two I see. I'm gonna say producers. It's babies. Oh, babies I would've said whose constant noise can ruin a run. Too. Yeah, I would've said producers. Babies no. that, that are flying <laughs> in the theater. Yeah. Producers yeah. for me are mean. the security guard. Most of the Sounds like that, oh was, that was a hard one. That's hard. Babies. That was a hard one. Babies. Okay. I don't care. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having no fun. No chance. <laughs> he knows all of these. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> a 12 pound actor 
is either a child star, an actor with little skill, a child born into an acting family, or an actor after a meal break on a two show day. <laughs> I'm gonna say B. Close, but in a it was C, a child born into an acting family. <laughs> oh, okay. found actor. Okay. I don't understand gonna... what that, what that, how that. A baby, I don't know. Maybe I don't know, child, Kenny, I'm so sorry. And That's now, okay. Ife, you're, you're coming up. There's there's a smaller gap now. No way. I don't care. It's, <laughs> all right. Yeah. She doesn't care. This, this is a good one. She really doesn't one. care. This is a good one for, for Eve. Uh, think, thinking part is the term. Thinking part. Uh, is it A, a role that requires much preparation? B, a role in which the actor is required to say very little or nothing at all? Mm. C, a segment of the show where a lot of plot is revealed? or D, the character who is the brains in the show? B. That is correct. Now you, it's two to one. Now two you can you take it. Take it, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's heating up, it's heating up. <laughs> like the, she went the shoulder roll. <laughs> there. Woo, we got okay, an Oh, this one, I have to, okay. Oh, ooh. A whooper up. Ooh. A whooper up. That is A, what the audience cheers for the leading lady, a terrible singer, a Victorian Ooh. jig dance involving ankle percussion, <laughs> or a scene mover or deck crew. Again, a whooper up. I'm gonna go with C. <laughs> no, a terrible singer. Up. Up. So rude. I know a whole lot of whoopers. <laughs> <laughs> That's you good. You can use that for choreo rehearsal too, though. We're gonna do a whooper up on. We're gonna do a whooper up. When you please, please. Listen, how did the audition go? Whooper up. Whooper <laughs> 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 up. Whooper up. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. All right, we it. have two more. So, so I feel like we're getting so many inside jokes right now. It's making me feel really excited about this. A lot of future material. Okay. We're going to come back from this in rehearsals and just no one's going to understand what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, for Ife, to play, to play to the guest, is it to lean into the jokes for more response? Mm -hmm. B, to suck up to the creatives? C, <laughs> <laughs> to speed up the show so as to finish sooner <laughs> or or d to just make enough money to get by what was that what is the term again in this school? to play to the gas uh hurry up and get finished number c <laughs> it is actually d to make just enough money to get by okay well and i found out why okay, well. <laughs> it <laughs> it had to do with like making just <laughs> enough money to pay your gas <laughs> I like, I like, I think, I think I like, what was A again on that one? Uh, to, yeah, to lean into the jokes for more audience yeah. response. I like B. I like, like suck up to the creatives. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can say like that. I like that. Suck playing, suck playing to the gas. <laughs> suck playing to the gas. <laughs> Here he comes, the gas. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh. Here comes the gas. Uh, we have one more, and I think we should do a duel and see what you okay. both think. All right. Okay. All right, so this one is Star Queller. Star Queller. It's either an inferior actor whose terrible performance ruins the performances of everyone else. That's a skill. Um, another word Sorry. for stalker. An ensemble actor who sucks up to the leads. Uh -huh. A star who tries to ruin the performance of his or her co-star in Jealousy. That's a brutal one. What do you say, Kenny? What was C? An ensemble actor who sucks up to the lead. Yes. Well, at least you're mutual, but unfortunately it is an inferior <laughs> actor whose terrible performance ruins the performances of everyone. Now that would be a dead person. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Well, there's some Victorian theater terms for you. Thank you. Yeah.
Yeah, thank I you. Bring back. Oh, we love you guys. Fun. So that was so much fun. Well, oh, thank you good. guys for doing this. Oh, well, thank you. We yeah, love thank you. you. Thank you again. Yeah. You so See, well, I was well, coming to back. Maine this summer for a little fishing, but I guess yeah. I'm not. But next summer. Next oh, summer yeah, for both. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I just thought I was coming this summer. I had my plans all made. Oh, no. But that's okay. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll get through it. Yeah. We'll get, and it'll be here before we know it. We'll get Absolutely. through it. I'm so happy that Absolutely. you guys are as well as can be and taking this with as much joy as you can. And I love you guys. You just made my entire day. And can oh. I say to the people of Maine, thank yes. you so much for all you do at Maine State Music Theater. Keep, keep contributing. They're doing great things in the community, Absolutely. even though you don't get to sit in the theater and see them. I love you, Kurt. I love everybody at my <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. I love you guys so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Sing us out. Yeah, sing us out. Sing us out. Do it. Main State Music Theater. Main State Music Theater. Bringing Broadway to Broadway. Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. I love you guys. Thank Bye. you. We love you too. Ciao, ciao. That's our show for this week. Thank you so much for continuing to join us. And I want to give a huge thanks to our amazing guests who brought us so much fun today, Ife Butler and Kenny Ingram. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And make sure to uh, like Main State Music Theater on Facebook, follow us on Instagram so that you can stay up to date with all of our future episodes of MSM TV. And with that, we will see you next week. Bye!